Hello, I'm Rodney St. John, agronomist at Ryan Lawn and Tree. Today I'm here to talk to you about zoysia grass, specifically dead zoysia grass. Over the last three years we've seen a lot of zoysia grass disappear from the landscape. Some of it's been due to chinch bugs and some of it's been due to large patch, but a lot of it I think has been due to the heat and the drought stress. The last three years have been particularly hard on zoysia grass. So the question is what do we do from here? We can do a couple things. One thing we can do is to go over to an area where we have some live zoysia grass, take some plugs from that live zoysia grass and transplant them into this dead area. The problem is, is that zoysia grass is very slow to spread out and it may take two to five years for those plugs to fully knit together and give you a complete zoysia grass yard. The other option we have is to reseed the zoysia grass area with cool season grasses like tall fescue or Kentucky bluegrass. The problem with seeding into zoysia grass is that zoysia grass produces a lot of thatch and thatch is a layer of dead decomposing stem, rhizome, and stolen tissue at the surface of the soil. And that thatch layer is actually hydrophobic and it'll prevent water from infiltrating into the ground. So if you just sprinkle your seed out on top of the soil surface, on top of that thatch layer, that seed's not gonna stay moist and it's not gonna germinate. So what we need to do is we need to get in and break up that thatch layer. If we just have some small patches, we can just use a little rake and scratch that thatch out and remove that thatch and then get our seed sprinkled in there and get some good seed to soil contact. If we have larger areas, then we want to use a power rake or a verticutter to get in there and rake that thatch out of there and get some good seed to soil contact for our cool season grasses. After we've got the seed down the ground, we want to irrigate the seed to keep it moist. So that means frequent irrigations, usually in the middle of the day, during the hottest part of the day, we want to keep that soil nice and damp all day long. After the grass seed is germinated, we want to keep that area irrigated. We don't want to let that young grass seed dry out. That young grass plant is going to be very immature going into the heat of the summer and it's going to need some extra tender loving care to survive the long summer. So remember, the number one reason seed fails is lack of water or not frequent enough irrigation. 